Hello everyone, welcome back. This is day two. We are talking about increasing physical event impact and ROI with Microsoft 365. Thank you to everyone who came yesterday and the people who also came back for round two today and anyone new for just the session today. So um, just to introduce myself, my name is Sam Brown. I am a Teams technical specialist in the New York office. And I have with me my colleague Mike Gennati. He's a Microsoft Teams principal technical specialist, and he's going to be walking us through the step by step demo today. So just a couple of things before we kick off. First of all, Mike is using this Logitech meetup. It's an all in one huddle room solution, and you can see a lot of the other devices that Logitech has. If you just go to Logitech.com, they have uh, devices that are consistent with Microsoft Teams and Skype for Business as well for all kinds of different meeting spaces. And next slide. So before we start, a couple of housekeeping items again. So the questions are moderated. I'm uh, going to be here live taking your questions, responding to you privately, and also posting things that are relevant for the whole group and for Mike to answer today. So definitely, even if you don't have any questions, let us know where you're from. Like I said, I'm in the New York office and Mike is down in Pennsylvania. So um, we'd love to hear where you're coming in from today. And then the webcast will be available afterwards on our blog. It's aka.ms-hls blog. So um, next slide. If you want to go into the Q&A right now, it's just at the top right, the little box with the question mark, and you'll see this screen right here. Just post any questions or any shout outs you have there, and we'll make sure to cover it today. All right, so again, this is the second day of the two day agenda. So yesterday we went over the challenges that our customers have with physical events, as well as a high level overview of the solutions. And Mike started with the step by step POC build out, um, really just setting up all of the sites. That's what we went through yesterday, just so that you had a good baseline for today. Today we're going into super customized demo for you, so there will be um, time during all of this for questions, like I said, and then at the end we'll make sure and pause and uh, answer and have an open Q&A. So uh, I will turn it over to Mike for our Tuesday build out. All righty. So, oh, there I am. I'm showing on the <laughs> screen. So, <laughs> welcome everybody to Tuesday again. Like uh, Sam said, um, yesterday we kind of set up the the components for our solution uh, for you know facilitating and expanding the reach of live events to deliver increased ROI. So we don't just have the we're not limited to the physical location for people but we can now expand that virtually both live and then on demand that same content and those speakers and even provide interactivity. The components we set up, we set up a SharePoint communication site. If you remember, we also set up in Yammer, a Yammer group for our event. We set up in stream two channels, one of which was private. Um, the other is a public one for the event. So the private one is for uh, on-demand videos to be uploaded, both recordings of the sessions, as well as for interviews for people coming out of the sessions. Um, and we have some great ones of those because Sam was busy harassing her fellow workers yesterday and having them simulate being uh, people coming out of a session. So we're gonna uh, take a look at those today. And then finally, we also set up a Microsoft team to manage everything. So today what we're going to do is kind of walk through the following. We're going to customize our team, right? Where we manage everything for the event team. We'll take a look at that. Won't take too long, but we'll kind of walk through. And if you've been using Teams at all, nothing new there. Um, <clears throat> but we might show you a couple of things you haven't thought of using. Uh, in addition to that, we're also going to then customize. We're going to come into our solution page. We're going to customize the hero web part. I'll show you the possibilities that you can do with that part. Some great options around publishing that. We're going to do just one of the tiles. I've already pre done the others again to save time. We're going to then customize the news. And again, I'm going to show you the kind of things you can do on a news page. Um, I've already done one as an example, and then I, I have content teed up so that we can do that. 
We're going to go then over into the Yammer live events piece. And we're going to go ahead and set up each of the events. Now, I've already got several of them done. We'll just do one or two more to show what that process looks like that's actually setting up for that webcast. And then we're going to show how to cross publish that <clears throat> back into that SharePoint communication site under the events so people can just readily access them, add it to their calendar, make that available. Um, we're going to then integrate a view to that all company channel we set up in stream into that communication site as well. So as videos are being reviewed, they'll automatically show up. And then we'll also show the review process because I have some in the review channel as well as some already uh, quote unquote reviewed and available in the other. So we'll show how to move content over and have that dynamically show. Then we're going to create and show you how to create an events archive page um, and then how we can link that in to that home page to make all of them once they're on demand, how to make it a consolidated page of all the pieces like the live event, any of the interviews coming out and if there's re, uh, you know associated resources content that we want to put in there. It's simple, it's quick, it's easy, it looks good. And I've already got one done that we'll, we'll go ahead and we can show you and then we'll go ahead and we'll build one. Along the way, like Sam said, any questions, stop me, fire them away. We want to hear. Again, if you wonder where I'm pointing, <laughs> there's my camera. It's up there. I'm looking here. There's my one screen and my built big screens over here. So when I point there, that means I'm actually pointing at whatever you're seeing. If I'm pointing up there, that's me. So here we go um, and let's get started. We're going to go ahead and minimize our slides here and we're going to start off, like I said, with our team. So yesterday we set up a team. We made it a private team. This diabetes awareness event one, we have an area to converse like we talked about. We have an area where we can upload files that we might need to share you know, any information that we might need to use from there, we can add that. But what we'd like to do is to make this a little more functional. So the first thing that we want to do here is this. We know that we're going to have meetings as a part of our session. So meetings, if we have, if we set up a meeting in Microsoft Teams and we record that because not everybody can attend, one of the things that we can do is make those recordings available. They're automatically recorded and saved into stream in the cloud. So if I wanted to, I could come up here and I could say, let's add a tab, let's add stream. And I'm gonna call it, once we go here, um, it says we can search or head over. So let's go up to stream itself. Let's look to my content and to channels. And you'll notice I have a channel set up for this diabet, di, DB event meetings, right? So we're going to go ahead and we can just copy that link, bring that on over here. Okay, and we could have searched for it or we could just paste the link. There we go. It shows us there's that event. We can then, I'll just call this, we could rename it. Oops. So I'm going to go ahead, rename this and call it meetings. Recordings, so we know exactly what it is. Somebody misses a meeting, they can come here. It's going to add that channel in here so that as we have meetings, if we have a recording, they'll automatically display here. Along with that, whenever you have a meeting, one of the things that we like to do in meetings is what? We like to take notes, right? So if we want to take notes, um, you know, and to create actionable things and also to have a place where we can all take notes. We're going to come in here to OneNote. And it already has created, see, we have a default team notebook. We already have it there. We don't need to create anything new. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's just go ahead and add that uh, notebook that was already created for us. And so what I could do, it says this notebook is empty. Press here or enter. So we're going to give it a section name and we'll call this meeting notes. There we go. Say OK. And there we go. We have our section meeting notes. And now people, when we take minutes, 
when we uh, take notes and we have a meeting, everybody can take notes in a consolidated meeting minutes piece. It's available. I can even take this, um, open it in the app, and it'll synchronize it on or offline. Another piece that we like to do typically as a piece of uh, any kind of a team is we like to assign tasks. And so how do we do that in teams? Well, it's fairly simple. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add planner. So planner is our place for doing some basic tasks, and we'll go ahead and call this our DB awareness and good thing spell check works because I can't type DB awareness uh, tasks and we can go ahead and save that here. And now again, the beauty of this is it's going to go ahead, set that up. So now I can enter a task. So let's say, for example, schedule speakers. Somebody has to go out and do that. I can set a due date. I'm going to make it tomorrow. We've already set up our event. Um, but just for the sake of this, we're going to do it. And then I can start to assign that to people. So I could say that's assigned to Deborah and to Grady both. So I can have multiple people. Um, once I add it, I can come in and then I can do some more sophisticated uh, pieces around this. I could say we're in progress or in this case, I'll say completed. I could say that's an important priority. Give it a start date, to date, due date, tomorrow. Give it a description and I could have a checklist of items that I could add that need to be completed as a part of this. So item one, item two, there we go. And maybe it'd be, you know, schedule doctor, I'm trying to think of some of the doctors we had, Dr. Mueller. So it's schedule Dr. Mueller, you know, so then, that might be one of the items. So we go ahead here under this and say schedule Dr. Mueller. And there we go. They've completed all that. So we can show that. And we can even finally last, we can even label something, color code it, right? By checking it, there we go. And so, and even add an attachment, we can have comments. But now as we go through, we can see here's that task. And then we can take a look at different views of the tasks and where they stand in, you know, in completion, progression, where they stand, what people have done. If I click this, I can see, you know, where that if, if the other people had added um, their components, right? I would have seen what they did. I see these two, their uh, tasks are finished. And we could go about our way, but have a great way to actually schedule and monitor tasks. We have a whole range of other things that we could add here. Um, I do want to add a couple of more. And so we do know that in that stream piece, as we publish content, the people on this review team are also going to be reviewing content that's been published up here. So if I come back to my content and go to channels, we have here this review channel that was set up and here's videos you know that during an event would be getting published these on-demand pieces of content recordings of sessions that were delivered some of the interviews that were done and so what i'd like to do is we want to have this available so let's go ahead and we're going to grab this and we have some options here we could add this as another tab or what we could do to make this a little more scalable. Let's go back down here and I'm going to add a channel. And we'll call this event videos. All right. And then again, we can go in, we'll add that. It's going to add this new channel underneath. So now we have the general uh, channel and now this events one. And again, we have an area for conversation. But here I could go very quickly and we could add videos for review right so we're going to keep this a little more distinct we don't want to pollute that top level the folks that are focused on this we're going to go ahead add that channel we'll add that and we'll say just call this review videos there we go we're going to click save now last time we had no videos this time we do so you'll note here they are. 
so people can come in here. They can simply click on a given video. It's going to be, it's going to play right in context, which is the beauty of it, right? I'm going to pause, is that? And even from here, they can do closed caption views. They can do search right within a given piece. So they could search on the term, let's say diabetes. Um, and there it is at five seconds. So, you know, if you have a lengthy piece, people can look and look for specific content to see how that they need to review and then they can close. But in one stop shop, now they can work on reviewing the videos right from here without having to go someplace separate. The other videos that we know are gonna be the videos that have been approved and published. So again, we're gonna come back up to our stream component. And uh, yeah, Sam said, let us know where you're joining from. And also if you have questions, fire them away, don't wait. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and come back again to channels. And here's the, the published videos. Note I don't have an icon yet for this. So we're gonna go ahead, open that up. Here's some that have been moved over and published uh, that are available for viewing company-wide. So I'm gonna quit go in and we're gonna be integrating this a little bit later into our portal, but we're gonna click edit and let's go ahead and give this an image. And I think I should have something in here on videos. Uh, la 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 la. Looking through all my icons. There we go. So we'll use this for our approved videos. And there we go. We've got a little image. We can say these are archived videos from the diabetes. Awareness event, and we know this is our approved channel. So now we've got that's all pretty ready to go. So let's go ahead, copy that link just as we did before. Let's add another tab. We'll call this one stream, and we'll paste that in. There we go. So you got our little icon, and we can just leave that title and click save. And there we go. So now people are going to be able to, again, from this team at one glance, see the videos they need to review and approve, as well as those that are now approved and moved over. I'll be showing you that in a little bit when we hit on the stream piece. And when we integrate it in, we'll look at how you quickly approve them. It is stupid simple. It's easy. So, um, but we'll take a look at that. But again, here's those videos. And so now you people can get a great quick insight into this. Uh, the other area that we want to integrate though, it also is Yammer. Remember, we're going to be having conversations. Remember yesterday we set up Yammer, this group for our diabetes awareness event. And we said we could set up live events in here, right? By coming down here, creating a live event. I've set up three of them. We're going to set up some more in a moment. <clears throat> but the beauty of this now is I can come in and I can say I want to a view maybe of this thread, right? So let's go ahead. And again, let's make a new channel. <coughs> Still fighting a cold folks, so please excuse me. Get a little sip there. So we're gonna add another channel and we'll call this Event Yammer Conversations. You know, again, it's not that people can't go in and add, you know, and go back and forth to Yammer, but again, we're making a team. And the beauty of teams is that single pane of glass to get our work done. So for the event team monitoring everything, they can come in here and I can add a channel now where, you know, hey, I wanna come in and we wanna do, let's go to more apps and let's type Yammer. And you'll see, there we go. So it says bring the power of Yammer together. So we can click in here and we can add Yammer to our team. And we don't want it to the general event. We want it to, let's see, diabetes. 
And here we go. There's that Yammer conversations. We'll click setup. There we go. And what do we want? We want to have a group, a Yammer group, right? We could do it or we can do it based off of a topic. Uh, but we want to search for groups. So this was our diabetes awareness event. There it is. We'll go ahead, click save. And just like that, there we go. So now as people start to converse, we'll see them and we can even reply right here. So again, now they'll be able to see the ongoing conversations and dialogue that can be uh, integrated you know, into that portal that can be seen just over in the Yammer group. And now we've further integrated it here. So for the event team, one place. They don't have to leave teams to do any of those type of dialogue conversation. So that's the beauty of that. So we've kind of got our convert everything kind of done. The one last thing though that I would posit that we might want to do, I'm going to do this at the very top level. Um, we did publish the site here so people could click, but I don't even want to leave my team. So in this case, I could simply come in here and we could say, look, I want to put SharePoint or a website. I could do it as a quick link. Uh, maybe we'll just go ahead and give a uh, name. So let's go ahead and grab. Here is that home page that we're going to be going back to. Right. And let's come on back to our team. Event site. So a couple of ways we can do it. I'm just going to do the quick and easy way. There we go. Boom. It's going to add that event site here. So now we have a link to it and we can see there's all that content. So we've kind of brought everything all together into Teams, right? So for the people managing this, they can converse. They can store files. So, and I have a couple of files here maybe I want to upload. So let's go to our upload area and I want to make some, I have some event documents here. So I put some up here. So maybe we want to grab this all here. I can click open. It's going to now upload those files, make them available so people can start to work on them. So I have some content that we're going to include. You know, we have things around the event. We have uh, uh, some documents on related content related to some of the talks, but we can start to now work on those. Take a look at that. We'll have our meetings, meeting recordings, all that done. One last little thing that I do want to highlight and then we're finished. I put meeting recordings and I just thought of this that we should do this. I have a whole video on how to do this. The one thing though that we still have to skip out to is our calendar to see the meetings. Wouldn't it be nice to just put them here so from we could just quickly go in one stop shop and access them all. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is first thing I'm going to set up so that we'll see them pop up. I'm going to set up a recurring meeting for this team, right? So I'm going to say new meeting. And we'll call this our diabetes. Event team meetings, and we're going to um, have this, let's say, be a repeat. <clears throat> I want it to repeat uh, weekly and starts today. It I will say never ends. It's like that. What's that Lamb Chop song? Do you remember this? Or have I dated myself? Yeah, Sam? it's the song that never ends. It just goes, goes on. on. <laughs> See, <laughs> you thought you were coming to watch this and instead you got uh, you got serenaded people. All right, so I can just call this our weekly team meeting. I just want you to see, though, what this is going to look like. I could even put in watch this. OneNote for meeting notes. Eh, let's put that here because oh, I'll have to come back to that. 
um, and I can change that. But so we've got it starting. We're saying it's every, it's once a week. Beautiful schedule. There we go. Oh, the one thing I forgot to do. I'm a dummy. One last thing. I've got. Well, I, I do have everything I want. OK, organizer. Um, invite people. I think that's pretty much. Yeah, that's all I want. So at any rate, we're going to come back in here into the teams. And if we want to add our calendar, it's as simple as this. If you go to files and we go to in here, there's an option to open in SharePoint. I have, I'm not going to waste time uh, building it, but I just want to point out what you can do. You can create a page where if you go into pages um, and you create one, create a, just a regular site page and then add a web part and there is one for your group calendar. Drop it in and then you can show the page just like we did with our uh, event site right here. It'll show right up. It'll be in line and people can see click right there and not have to go outside. That's going to take too much time. We're already at, almost at half past. So we've modified our team. We can now do all these things. Now we need to actually modify our event. If there's questions, fire them away. But I think you're waiting on the other piece. But I'll stop. So we'll just wait and see. I know there's about a 30 second before you actually hear what I'm saying. So uh, we'll be on the lookout. But if you have questions on that, we're going to move on and come to the home page of our diabetes awareness event. So I'm in the wrong page. This is not where I wanted to be. I want to be here. I went over to the group. There we go. So here we are. And the first thing that we're going to want to ed uh, edit uh, in this case is the hero web part. That came to us out of the box. As you can see, I've already set up some custom content here related to diabetes. Um, but to edit this, it's really simple. The first thing again, I'm the administrator. I don't have to be a webmaster for this stuff. I'm going to click edit, right? So I click edit and it gives me this edit view of the page. And now I can simply click on that web part and notice it's giving me controls where I can edit or add to uh, sections. This is one section or for this individual web part, I click the pencil. It's that simple. So I can give it access to a high level piece of content. And in this case, it's a link to their directions online about how to customize. Well, we already know how to customize, so I'm going to walk you through it. Um, we're going to change, click change, and it gives me some options. And this is what we were talking about. I can do a web search. So maybe I'm looking for content out there. So I could say, hey, you know, I want to find articles on diabetes. I'm going to go ahead and click, right? And so now it gives me um, links. And this one's doing to images and to layouts and Creative Commons. I can click, you know, I want to see everything and get all kinds of stuff. It'll allow me to pull content out of my OneDrive to link and permission it here. I can look at the site. And so here it has site content, right? I have documents, site access, and site pages. I can upload content. Maybe it's a PDF that I want to make a part of it. Or I can do from a link that I already have, which is what I did for those others. So if you have a link to a web page, something you want to show here, you can just copy and paste it, add that here, and it'll when people click, it'll actually take them to that link. In my case, though, I want to go and I'm going to just click recent because I did create a page. Um, and I said Contoso Health organizes the first diabetes awareness. Now that was here. I created this. New page in here under pages, and we're going to see how to do those in a moment. But there it is. If I click on it, you'll see. This is that web page, not a whole lot to it, just a, you know, kind of a general little announcement and a graphic. We're going to see how to build those in a moment. But for now, I'm just going to simply select. That's how easy this is. 
select that page, say open. Uh, the next thing it's going to do is I can then change this title. And we said this is, uh, what did I say that was? Da, 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 da. Contoso Health Organ, Contoso Health Systems. So Contoso Health Systems organizes first. If I made that spelled right, organizes first diabetes awareness event. And we'll put in a little exclamation mark. It says show the title on the layout. Yes, we want that there. Um, and then it asks about the image. Now this had a custom image previously. We could select auto select the image. Boom, look at what it did. It grabbed the image from the web page. How cool is that? You didn't need to do anything. In fact, for these other ones, that's all I did there was auto select. So if there's images on a page, it's going to go ahead and do that and grab that for you. Uh, then it says you can give that alternative text. Um, and so I could change that. That that helps with accessibility readers that are going to see things, you know, as it reads it for them, gives them audio. If there's somebody who's visually impaired, um, it'll give that text as it's looking at that block. Then the last thing is for options. If we scroll on down, it says you can have a call to action and then I can have, you know, a learn more that we have here or I could just turn that off. And again, it's still going to link to that. Um, you know, I don't want to I could I'd have to copy the link and put that in. I'm just going to leave it blank. We've gone ahead and saved it. We can republish and now we have there's our news. Notice it becomes a hand. So if I click it, it takes us to the page. That's simple. That's how we do the hero web part. All right. There's questions about the hero web part. Uh, let me know. Um, but it's very easy to you know, manage and you have a lot of options. Like I said, um, pulling external content. That's a beautiful thing with SharePoint, right? You don't have to publish everything. There's a lot of great content to be consumed outside of your organization. The next section is um, news. So here is that news that I had you know, published previously. Uh, and again, it's the same article, but how do we do news? News is so simple. And notice I have, because I am the administrator here, I have the ability to come in and add news. That doesn't show up for everybody, but I can click it just by clicking add. So we have a news story that I you know, just replicated up here. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I want a new post. It does have the option though for a link. Again, if you have external news you want to link to, go right ahead and do it. We're going to create a new post. And in this particular case, I have content that I have placed pre-done in a Word document. And I'll just show you that. So I have speaker Dr. Vidal uh, Dr. Adele Vance receives prestigious awards. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So we'll give that the title. There we go. I can give it a picture. So I can do a couple of things. I can edit the web part here uh, to make it, you know, there's some options I have here where I can have it be this big bar. I can, you know, minimize that or have it overlap. There's a couple of different ways we can treat it. Um, I can also come in in this case and change the image. So, um, you know, I can do things like add an image. I'm just going to leave it blank here. And then I can go ahead and start to add components. Now, notice this, and I love this about it. Um, with the components, these are the web parts. When I click this little plus, this allows me to add web parts. I also though have here sections so I can get very sophisticated and we'll actually see this in building out a page. I could have sections with different types of content in them um, and I can have sections that I'll, I'm just going to click on this for a second to show you. I can have a single column, two columns, three columns. Look, I can have ones where it emphasizes different ones, full width. There's a whole bunch of different stuff that we can add here. 
we're just going to stick real simple for what we're doing here in this one. And I'm going to go ahead and say that I want text. If I wanted to, though, I could I can search for parts like, I don't know, stream, right? There we go. There's a stream for getting video from our stream instance. Or I can click this little expand. And then I can browse all the categories. So here's the featured link, you know, featured web parts, text, image, file viewer link, embed code, highlighted content uh, under text and media. The highlighted ones are Bing Maps, call to action, dividers, and more. I can click see all and see all the ones like weather apps. Um, I can go into, again, under discovery. They have ones like document libraries, highlighted content lists quick links and we're going to use some of this recent documents or see all of those and it goes on and on right on down to like things like power bi reports site activity quick charts applications forms countdowns so i could even put a countdown timer on the site you know until this code snippets buttons world clocks there's all kinds of goodies for you we're going to stick with the most basic text and again, I said I have for this one, we already have some text, it's pretty basic what we're doing here. And I will close that, paste it, and boom, there's our text. And again, we could do some formatting here if we wanted. We could have hyperlinks, I'm done. That's all we're gonna do here. We can allow for comments or not. We can turn those on or off. Click paste news. And just like that, if we come on down, you'll notice we now have two news stories um, that are now appearing for our users. So that's how we can extend and customize the news. Next up, you'll notice we have events and documents, right? So, but I wanna add some additional, well, well, let's go to events first, and then we're gonna add some of the additional components. We talked about scheduling events. So you can see here, if I click on this initial event, diet, diabetes and endocrinology, welcome and kickoff, um, you'll see we have the event, join the, the Yammer event, which will take us directly to this one that we listed right here, right? So I already have one pre-filled. It's ready to actually start running and people can converse. So. We have uh, within there, we have the join link right from here. We also have the physical location. People can add this to their calendar just by clicking it. Uh, and they can also share it, send by email right from here and that'll send that. They can send it to their colleagues. Hey, did you know about the following right out of uh, this one spot? So a lot of great stuff that we have out of that events view, but what we wanna do is we're going to extend the existing events by going back to Yammer. And I said we would show how to create an event. So what we're going to do is I have another Word doc. I'll bring this over here. This is a listing where I did a listing of all of our events. And not all of them are listed yet on there. I only have three. So we're going to take a look at what it means to set up an event. So we've already done this one this one and this one so i want to do this adjunctive therapy for type 1 diabetes so to do this it's pretty straightforward we're here in this yammer group we're going to scroll down to where it says create a live event we're going to go ahead select that we want our external app or device. This allows us to use an external encoder um, to do that. You could do it using Microsoft Teams, but for the sake of today, we're gonna do that. And ask for the short name and description, right? So we're gonna come back to, we tried to make this easy. This is adjunctive therapy for type one diabetes. We'll go ahead and copy that. Just paste that in. There we go. The start date for this is going to be October 21st. And this particular event will be from 9.30 to 10. So we want to change our times here. 9.30. 
excuse me, 9.30 to 10.30 it was. One hour. Um, once we've done that, we can give it a description. Whoops, I want that same Word doc. So I'll say, uh, we'll grab this whole piece here. And, you know, you can get certainly much more descriptive. Adjunctive therapy, Dr. Megan Bowen, room 38. So it lets people know where it's physically at. The presenters, this would be anybody who's going to be, you know, broadcasting it. I could add those. Uh, we have no need to add some additional people. Uh, that would be our event team folks, typically somebody who's in the room actually broadcasting it. I'm just going to go ahead and schedule it. So now we have that event is ready. There we go. It's ready to get start setting up. Um, but now all we need to do is come back to our same event. We're going to add an event. And we're going to give it the name. We've already given it a name. So this was. A boom. It's pretty easy. Um, we're going to go ahead and just copy and paste again. If we wanted, we could come over here or we could elect not to. You know, I'm just going to leave it blank, uh, but we could add an image if we wanted to add something there. Then we're going to give it the start date just like we did previously. You know, I do understand it's a little bit repetitive, but uh, once we've done this, it's quick and easy. And I can say where, so we know this was in room 38. And so I'm going to say this is in room 38 or online. There we go. And then I'm going to give a link. That's really simple. Just a link to this event. So copy. And paste that in there. And for the display, we'll see, we'll say join live event in Yammer. There we go. And then I can add it about the event if I want. So I could, you know, copy the description. I can give it more description if I wanted. We're just going to do that. Click save. And now if we come home to the home page here. Whoops, diabetes awareness event, not the other one. There we go. Now you'll know that we have three. So there's the, the new one, adjunctive type. So we have the new meeting listed and we can continue to add all of the meetings in that manner. So we schedule them, then we add it. There is a duplicative process. I understand that, but this makes it easy for users as a one stop shop. So they'll come in here and they could say, hey, you know, I want to attend this session. They can add it to their calendar when it's time. Join the live event. It's just going to bring them over and they're done, right? Nothing else to do. And when it's streaming, uh, they'll see that event. So that's how we extend and customize events. Um, can you please share recording URL again? Uh, yeah, so uh, Sam, I saw we had, oh, you're going to, you want to share that again? Just say it and then we'll. Yeah. Oh, and you yeah, typed definitely. it too. <laughs> so we got a question on sharing the recording of this presentation. And for all of the presentations uh, that we have, we always share them on our blog afterwards. And it's aka.ms uh, slash HLS blog. Uh, and then I also posted that in the Q&A if you just want to copy and paste it. Very good. So the last thing we want to do is start to integrate some of these other pieces in to our home page um, and start to, you know, really flesh this out and then create the archive. So real quickly, we're going to cl click edit again. We have the edit our page. So here's our news. There's our events. Um, we don't probably want to do anything above those because those are primary. Uh, this documents area, I can, I'm going to rename this and call it related documents. This is actually content that's related to people, but that could be at the end. What I want to do is I want to have an area um, where we can show the uh, videos as they come in, the on-demand ones as they're recorded, and make those available. So 
I could add the web part here, or I can also come out and let's say, oh, I already started to add this quick link. So let me, I'm gonna delete this for right now. We'll re-add that in a moment. Um, what I wanna do is I'm gonna kinda actually for this area here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to modify this section because this is one big section here, right? So I'm going to make it two columns. There we go. And notice what that's done now. This gives me all this other real estate and I can drag. So if I want to move, let's say the events um, web part, I want to put that up, you know, again, front and center. I can do that here. Here's my related documents, but now I can start to add some other areas and provide that interactivity right in here. So we mentioned underneath here, I might want to add, let's say stream. And we'll click stream. And as soon as I click that, it's going to automatically gra grab all of stream, right? But we don't want that. We want just the published videos, right? So as they're being published, they'll show up. So again, I'm going to copy the link. Pretty simple. We're going to select this drop down a channel. We're going to paste that channel in. And we can do the sorts based on trending, publishing date, views, likes. We'll just leave trending. Uh, leave that alone. Notice it gives the next so you can scroll through these. You'll just see, you know, the most recent highlighted there. So we've got that and we'll click republish so we can see what that looks like. And so now here we go. We've got some additional content. Look at that. We've got now additional videos and people can go here. They can click on them. Um, but I said that we wanted to quickly take a look at how to move content when we did that from the review to the publish. So we want to add some more videos here. They've already run some sessions, let's say, and we've recorded and there's been some content. So we're going to come back to the channels. And remember, we had this one. This is our review channel. It's this easy. So here we go. We have um, a couple of different videos. So we have overcoming challenges with diabetes. Uh, we could do that one, make that live. So this is like an interview. And right now it's limited to the administrator who uploaded it into that secure group. What we want to do is click allow everyone to see and then to publish it into the channel we click channels start typing diabetes there is the awareness video now i can say look i don't need it back in there i just delete it click apply and just like that dynamically if we Oh, that's you playing. <laughs> I thought you were talking. I forgot. <laughs> that was in the background there. All right. <laughs> so I refreshed our page. Now, if we come back and we'll see the videos, you'll note that when we click next, here's the new video dynamically appears. So we can start to now approve those, those pages of content, publish them out, make them available. I'm going to approve one more. Um, and uh, then we'll go ahead and move on to the next piece. So back to channels, the approval channel. So just to repeat how we did that. We'll come back here. So let's pick an actual session and we'll say I'm going to actually do these two because we're going to do these together to create a page. So we'll click, whoops, click the edit. Say allow everyone, go to groups, excuse me, to channels. We'll search on our open diabetes channel. There it is. Select that. We can now deselect the closed channel. Click apply. That's now going to be there for everyone. Go back to channels and we'll click the associated one with that. And that was this first one up here. So now we've got the event. 
click again, allow everyone. Channels, start typing diabetes. There we go, it finds it. It's added it, we can undo that closed one. And now I can actually, we'll just uh, go back to the home. So we've got two pieces of content. So what we've done now, if we come back here, we now have all those videos, right, that are adding. And when you refresh this page, we'd be able to see those as well. Um, but now the last thing we want to do is as we finish each event is archive it, right? And have an easy way to get to those events. So how do we do that? If we come back to our pages area, you'll know that I created one already for adjunctive therapy. So I have a page and we're gonna walk through how to build this. So on this adjunctive therapy for type one diabetes, you'll know we have the title, we've got the video, the session that was recorded. We have related content documentation, so we can do the same on our new page. Um, and I'll show you how we do that. We have then related videos that we're adding, like those interview vid videos as people exit. So we can pull together all this on a page and it is simple. So let's close that. Let's come back here to create a page and then we'll create one more page and then we'll link them in and we'll show you how to do that. So to do that, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna select a new page. And we said, what was those ones that we just did? They were for, I forgot the title on them. Um, here we go, diabetes in the next 20 years. So we're gonna create a new page for diabetes in the next 20 years. Again, you could add a graphic if you had one, if you wanted to. Um, then we could give it some text about it. And I could say, uh, this is by, I don't remember who this one's by. Let's see, Dr. Isaiah Langer. Oh, look at that. So let me go here. I'm just gonna copy because I am too lazy to actually type. There we go. So we've got some text, beautiful. Um, now I want to add a new section. I'm going to go ahead and say two columns over here. I'm going to have related documents over here, though. I want to use, I want to display the videos, right? Any related videos. So again, where do I go? We're going to go to stream. I could search on it or under media. There you go. You can see it here. I want to have a single video and I could add multiples for each of those um, recordings and you probably realized I skipped a step. I forgot to put the session recording, so I'll do that in one second. So over here, if we come back to our videos, let's say, let's see here. We had the, this is the one for this. So let's grab this link. We're going to click share. Copy. And close that. And we'll come back. Give it the address. Boom. There we go. So we've got the related video. I forgot to drop the main video. So we'll put this here right underneath the text. So this time I'll just search on stream. Again, we multiple ways to do this. We want a single video. In this case, the video that we want is the main one, the session, the speaker, and their presentation. Here it is. So we'll click share again, copy, and close that. We don't want to play. Here we go. Close that. So now we've got the related video, we have the main video, and the last thing I wanna do is show on this page, this archive page, any related content. So I'm gonna add one that is, it's a, called the Quick Links page, or 
web part. It's pretty easy. And I'm just going to call this related docs, right? Or res actually related resources. Resources. So I can come in here and I can, uh, for this piece, say I want to add a link. And notice it allows me to do things like look at recent. So I've already added some. I'm just going to add something in here. Let's say uh, I, I grabbed this one earlier, but we'll we'll grab it again just to show you what it looks like. So let's say I, I added a PowerPoint in this case. Boom, and I can say I want to get you know an auto selected image, a custom image. Um, and so it's going to go through and then I could click. I want to add more links so I could say something else. Let's grab another one. So any documents that I upload into the documents area will appear and I can select those. So now I've grabbed a PDF. I've grabbed a PowerPoint and I could continue to add any last ones. I'm going to go ahead, publish this page. And. Here we go. It said I can do some options. I'm going to close it. And so here we can see there's our related resources. There's this content. And so now the last thing that we want to do is I'm going to come back to the home page and I want to start linking those items in. So we have related documents. What I'm going to do is click the edit function again and above our related documents. I'm going to select underneath news. We're going to go ahead and say we want that quick links view. There we go. And now I can start adding links to the pages that we've created, right? So we created, uh, let's see, diabetes in the next. Well, here's the where's that first one? Uh, there we go. Nope, not we want that one. Diabetes in the next uh, couple of years, so I can add that. And then I could continue to add, you know, we can say custom image, auto selected. Um, we could do an icon, so I'll just select that. And whoops, I didn't want to change it. Let's get out of there. And let's go ahead and close. And so I could just start to add the links to the archive pages. When I'm all done, what have we got? At three minutes till. We have an event page with custom highlighted news at the top. We've got custom news that we continue to add and build out and we can continue to add. We have links to the events so people can click right from here and attend those events remotely from their desktop without going any place else. We then have a listing of all the archive pages as we do. Any related documentation that we added under documents is automatically going to show here and we can see those here as well. And finally, the archive, the videos as we approve them, they're all available on demand. So we have a one stop shop here and the only last thing we needed to do was what we did previously here where we publish it all as in this case this was the other one we can publish it as we showed yesterday as an icon to the left hand side of teams so that people can get to this page now from wherever they're at and so what we would do is do the same thing that we did there we would come into our app studio we would in the manifest editor we'd click build a new app. Here's this particular one that we did. Here's all the attributes we fill out and under the tabs. In this case, we would change this tab and have it be instead the link that we saw earlier. And then publish that out and then we're done. At one minute till. Nice. Finish building. So. If you have any last questions, anything, throw them out now. Uh, I'll stay. We can stay over a few minutes extra if you have them. Uh, people have been pretty quiet. Um, we will be posting the step by step instructions that I have in a Word doc, uh, as well as the slides 
uh, that we had. I do have some last calls to action. Um, this is open Q&A, and like I said, we'll run extra if we need to, but a couple of calls to action, and I have some links. I'll publish the call to action links, and it kind of walks you through each of the sections, how to do them standing on their own, how to you know deal with SharePoint online and working with it and editing it and doing all the stuff you saw me do here, plus more. There's a whole thing around stream and setting up those live events, also the on-demand content, Yammer as well, um, and then Teams working and do around that. Um, <clears throat> but we'll have the deck, the resources, the step-by-step uh, -step instructions, and both videos, yesterday's and today's, will be posted to aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash eight slash eight. Blah, 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 HLS blog. I've talked too much. So, I'm not sure if we have any last questions. No more um, questions. It's looking like we do not. No. Nope. So with that, we'll bid you a good day. So have a great day, everybody. Take care. Be on the lookout. Um, we have it's all off on our blog. We have upcoming again another. Uh, what, what, what do we call that event? The AMA, the Microsoft Teams mm -hmm. AMA, Ask Me Anything. We've done one session. We have two more to go. So those will be posted so you can join, ask us anything about Microsoft Teams, let your colleagues know. We have some industry experts uh, that we're scheduling who are going to be talking about healthcare and life sciences, bringing those on. If there are events you would like us to see us do live or on-demand content, you can always at our blog, let us know. You can find myself and Sam and my colleagues there as well as on LinkedIn. We'd love to connect with you. We'd love to put content that you want. But with that, this is Mike and ta -da -da, there's a change. <laughs> and Sam. Bidding you have a great day. I'm like, <laughs> I'm <trying to> do <laughs> have a great day. Take care and as always, ciao. Have a good one, folks.